Hey you guys, it's Brits and I we're here with a completely random and just maybe a little bit of an unhinged video. Windows are open, the birds are singing, but I want to film so that's what we're going to go ahead and do. I want to share with y'all five completely random items that I've purchased in the last, I would say, few months that I think are worth a little bit of a shout out. This is not sponsored. None of these brands know who I am. So if you're interested in these random little finds, then please keep watching. All right, you guys, so some of y'all might know I am really big into antiques. I love to go antiquing, and it's not just going in person, but I also like to find good, um, you know, rare gems online through sites like eBay, Etsy. Those are kind of like the top two that I use for antiques specifically. But I came across these little banks, and these are from, I think, the 60s, maybe the early 70s. 8 o'clock, it's an advertisement for a coffee company. 8 o'clock, or, yeah, 8 o'clock coffee, freshly roasted, ground to order, one of AMP's fine coffees. And these are little piggy banks. They have the slits in the top and they are definitely um, a little rusted, but they just sit on the bookshelf, so it's no big deal. And I thought that they were so cute. Random, to me, a little quirky, a little different, like who would really care about these vintage pig piggy banks? Um, I do. I think they're cool. And since I was able to find both of them through the same seller, I went ahead and purchased I think the red one I paid around $7 for, the yellow one was more rare, so I might have paid around $11 for it, but they sit on the bookshelf and I think they look cool, totally random, but that is item number one. Let's hit on this completely random item that I have. This pen I just recently discovered, Delphonics, and this is a pen that I don't want to say it's changed my life because that's just being dramatic and silly, but I love the way this pen writes. I am an office supply snob. I love good pens. I love a good notepad that lays flat. I love little things that I can use in my day-to-day -day life that I enjoy using. It's not just your typical pen. Um, it writes really well. I like the way that it feels in my hand. I like the size of the pen tip. This is a 0.7 for reference and I just really like it. I found it at Paper Source which they are a really well known at chain. I don't know if you have a Paper Source in your area but I think the pen was around nine dollars and I also bought um, the same pen. This is pink but I also found one that is like a wood like a natural wood color and I took that one to my office, kept this one at home, so I'd have one in both locations and I really like it. Is $10 for a pen too much? Absolutely. However, I'm also a big believer in once in a while treat yourself because it's little things like this that if it makes you happy throughout the day when you're using the item that you paid money for, then I think that it is worth a few extra dollars. That's just how I feel about it. Now I want to hit on two beauty items and then I have a household item. I no longer frequent Bath and Body Works like I used to because I just felt like every time I went in there I would buy stuff that I really don't need. It's not life changing. It's not unique. It's not special. Um, and because I have a Pura, I no longer burn candles the way that I used to. Don't get me wrong. I still love a holiday season scented candle. But as far as the rest of the year, I really try to limit burning candles in the house just because it is, you know, I feel like it's better for Axel that way. It's better for us as adults that live in the home to not have candles burning in every single room. That's just a personal decision that I made. But I did stop in the other day and I found this banana, but blah, blah, blah banana bonanza lip balm it's nothing 
fancy. It also comes in a lip mask and a lip gloss. I opted for the balm because I don't need a lip gloss and I don't like putting my fingers into a pot of lip product. It's never been my thing. I just don't care for it. So I figured I will opt for the stick. It's just a good old banana lip balm. It's very basic. It was $8.95. I like it. Is it life-changing? No, but like I said, sometimes you just have to get yourself a little something, and if a banana lip balm is going to make you feel better throughout the day, then get that banana lip balm. Now, the other beauty-related item that I want to throw into this video, this was a subscriber-suggested product, and I went ahead and bought it, and I love it. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Eyeliner in the shade Pillow Talk. It is described as, I believe, a warm berry on... The website if you look at it it's a red brown and i love red brown eyeliners i was talking about it in that video i love a good red based brown eye pencil they are harder to come by it's usually a neutral brown a cool brown or just simply a dark brown that doesn't really even look brown once you actually apply it i love this eyeliner i think it stays in the waterline pretty well am i the biggest fan of charlotte tilbury as a brand no i can also acknowledge that some of her products are pretty good and I think that it's expensive for an eyeliner. Is it something that I'm going to stockpile? No, but I do think that it is a unique enough shade to incorporate once in a while. And when I run out, I will probably buy a refill um, because I like it and it stays in my waterline. And I love that it is a true red based brown. Last item I want to talk about is actually a household item. And this is the new Mrs. Myers Tomato Vine multi-surface everyday cleaner it's the spray countertop cleaner whatever i love the scent of tomato vine i think that it smells like a, a fresh garden i think that it is a very unique scent as far as if you think about like household cleaners you usually have something fresh something citrusy maybe something that is a lavender sort of scent and I just think that tomato vine is very unique and I love it and it also comes in a dish soap and a hand soap I opted to just get the surface spray because that's what I use most often I have other uh, dish soap and hand soap that I use I really like this and I will say is Mrs. Meyers surface spray the absolute best surface spray it's going to clean it's going to disinfect it's going to just change everything no it's certainly not that but like i said if you find something that you can incorporate into your daily life or your chores or your beauty routine or whatever maybe you like the scent of it maybe you like the way that it performs like whatever it is if it's justifiable to you i am here for it and i love this tomato vine scent in fact i am considering actually getting some of the dish soap um just because i like it that much i think it's a unique scent i don't think that a lot of the brands release tomato vine-esque products so i'm here for it i found that at target just a couple weeks ago and i've been obsessed so I know this video was totally random, but I do feel like once in a while, you know, I like sharing stuff with y'all. You guys share products that you like with me and just like that Charlotte Tilbury eyeliner. That's what this community is all about. So if you are interested in any of these products, go ahead and look into them. I know that sellers on eBay still have those um, coffee piggy bank things. They're, they're not super rare where you can't find any. But either way, that's what it's all about. So for tonight, if you like the video, please leave a like and a comment. And if you'd like to see more from me in the future, please subscribe. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.